Hi everyone, thank you for watching this video. Today, in this video, I'll talk about pre-rendering a Blazor WebAssembly app hosted on static web hosting and save them to static HTML files at publishing time. But first, let me introduce the awesome Blazor browser website. Here is the awesome Blazor browser website. I created and published this website on the internet. Please let me talk about in minutes what the Awesome Blazor browser is and why I created it. This will be helpful to you to understand the background and requirement of statically pre-rendering of a Blazor web app. Maybe you know there are so many awesome something sites. Those sites are related to computer programming collections of awesome stuff. Of course. There is an awesome site about Blazor programming too. It is the awesome Blazor GitHub repository. This is an excellent work of Adrian Torres. Special thanks to Adrian. And I often visit the Wosa Blazor site to get helpful software or how to. But one day, I ran into one problem. The awesome Blazor items were getting enormous day by day, so browsing the site was getting harder. For example, it became hard to find the section I want to see from so many sections on the site at a glance. This is the motivative I created the awesome Blazor browser site. The awesome Blazor browser is a dedicated web app for browsing the awesome Blazor site contents. It fetches the readme content from our awesome Blazor GitHub repository and parses it and shows it on user-friendly navigation UI. The awesome Blazor browser allows us to filter the content with keyword or filter particular sections that I want to see or jump to the sections directory. The awesome Blazor browser is a Blazor WebAssembly app and I deployed it on GitHub page. I made the publishing task to be automated as a GitHub action script. The awesome Blazor browser is very useful at least for me, because the project started from my requirement. But it has a problem. As you can see in this slide, the internet search results of the awesome Blazor browser were really bad. If I hosted the awesome Blazor browser on an ASP.NET Core server, I could resolve this problem easily using the usual server-side pre-rendering technique. But I strongly wanted to host it on GitHub pages because this is a good showcase that a Blazor WASM app can be hosted, even a static web hosting. So I have to do pre-rendering the Blazor WASM app at public time and save them to static HTML files into the publish folder. Of course, I have to pre-render to static HTML files not only a root index content, but also all other rooted URLs. And also, uh, yes, I have to do a pre-rendering task in a GitHub action script. To resolve this problem, at first, I researched to find anything on the internet that tools or articles about doing publishing time pre-rendering of a Blazor WASM app. Fortunately, I could find some good resources that already exist on the internet. Let me show two resources that I found. One of those is the article by Swinburg. He explains in his blog post about how to pre-render using React Snap. The React Snap is a Node.js tool. This tool launches on own local web server to serve the Spark Publisher folder via HTTP. And it launches a headless Chromium browser. Then, the Rift Snap starts to access its own web server by that headless Chromium browser. At first, the Rift Snap gets the DOM content the browser process rendered and saves that content into static HTML files. This approach is straightforward and also robust, I think. 
the Brother Wasm project site doesn't require any code change. Another one I will show you is the article by Andrew Rock. He explained in his blog post how to pre-render by adding an ASP.NET host project. His approach is based on a well-known technique to do server-side pre-rendering in a browser web app. To do this, he added a new ASP.NET Core host project and he configured the host to pre-render the browser web app. Finally, when the host program is launched at publishing time, the host program crawls itself by a HTTP client and saves the fetch content to static HTML files. I feel this approach is also nice because this technique is based on a well-known method in ASP.NET Core programming. But I couldn't be satisfied with those solutions. Swinburne's approach uh, using the real snap is almost good, but it can't wait to finish the uninitialized async method on a browser website. This causes saving the intermediate render results sometimes on my project. And also, the results that the real snap output must rewrite because the results are not valid super bootstrap content. The reason is the state of contents the real snap saved is after the browser process did rendered, not before the browser process started. Android's approach uh, using the ASP.NET Core hosting is also working fine, but we must write massive and complicated c -sharp code to do it. Additionally, those c -sharp code is locked into individual browser web projects tightly. This means Reusing those C-sharp codes for another project is really hard without so many code changes. So finally, one day, I decided to start a new software project to resolve my dissatisfaction. So let me talk about my approach and goal for statically pre-render a browser wasm in my way. First, it is based on standard server-side pre-rendering that is hosted on an ASP.NET Core server. This is required to avoid the async initialization problem. Second, make the code changes of the browser wasm side to be nothing or minimum. This goal is important to easy to use my achievement for anybody. Third, it should be packaged as a NuGet package and it should be distributed on NuGet org. This means anybody can use my achievement out of the box. A few days after I started, finally, I published my achievement as a NuGet package. The package is Breather Wasm Pre-Render Build. Only you need to do to statically pre-rendering at publishing time is just adding this package to your Breather Wasm project. I'll show you this package how to affect the result of publishing Breather Wasm project. This slide shows the result of publishing our Breather Wasm project. As you can see, the index HTML super fallback page just contains a loading message. This is a normal result as I expected. Uh, there is nothing unusual. The next slide shows the result of publishing a Breather Wasm project after the Breather Wasm Pre-Render Build package was added. As you can see, now the index HTML contains the rendered HTML by Breather component. And static HTML files correspond to each root URL are also generated. Again, this happened by just adding the Breather Wasm Pre-Render Build package to Breather Wasm app. Therefore, uh, you don't need to change the GitHub action script. Then, I'll talk about how does the Breather Wasm Pre-Rendering Build package work. First, after the typical publishing process is finished, it starts its own ASP.NET Core web server instance inside its process space. Next step, the server instance loads the publisher index HTML file and creates the spa fallback reader page on the fly from that index HTML. 
and the server instance also loads the browser component deal files from the published folder and finds an app root component. Next, it configures the spa fallback router page to do server-side rendering with static rendering mode. Then, it sends HTTP requests to itself and saves the response to static HTML file in the published folder. Let me show you more details in the next slide. After the typical publishing process is finished, the browser wasn't pre-render build status its work. As you can see, it reads the index.hm file from the published folder and uses it to create the SPA fallback razor page on the ASP.NET Core server inside it. And also, the server-side rendering code is inserted into that SPA fallback razor page. The browser wasm deleted file is also loaded and the root component class inside it, typically the app class, is referenced from the server-side pre-rendering code. After these steps, it starts crawling to itself. First, the crawler instance inside it sends an HTTP GET request for root URL to the web server instance inside itself. Then, server instance executes a rendering and responds the rendering result to the crawler. When the crawler receives the result, then the crawler saves that result to the corresponding index agent file statically. Next, the crawler instance tries to find any links inside that result. If the crawler finds links, the crawler sends an HTTP GET request for each link and saves them to static HTML file. The crawler does this process recursively. These processes are executed just before the end of .NET Publish command. But of course, it is not perfect. The most important thing is, uh, the browser wasm pre-rendering build cannot invoke the main method of the browser wasm upside because of the limitation of its architecture on this approach. And this means the pre-rendering process will crash when any browser component requests to inject any services that will be registered as the main method to the DA container. Because those services never registered in the server-side process due to the main method cannot be invoked. To avoid this, I implemented a hook point in the browser wasm pre-render build. What you have to do to avoid this problem is extract the service registrations to a static method named configure services. If the browser wasm pre-render build finds a static method named configure services, it will invoke that static method in the startup process of the web server instance inside it. This implementation makes those services can be used from both the pre-rendering process and the browser was up on the web browser process. And this is still an experiment project. There are not a lot of results of using the browser was pre-rendering build yet. So currently, I'm not sure that the browser wasn't pre-rendering build works well on complicated real-world applications or not. And I'm still interested in the real snap approach if it can avoid the problem that it can wait the async initialization, because developers may use this approach with an out-of-the-box experience. Let's wrap up. This package will improve the internet search result of your static hosting browser wasm app with only minimal or no code changes. But this is still an experimental project. I welcome anybody who forks and improve this project or implement other approaches. I hope the browser wasm pre-render build package will save your time. I also wrote down some links to my blog posts in this slide that will be useful for deploying your Prisa Wasm app to static web hosting and GitHub pages. 
I'm going to publish this slide on the internet soon, so please visit them if you are interested in it too. I appreciate the community power and again, thank you for watching.